Hi friends! Audrey Henley here. Welcome to my channel. This is the intro video that I'm gonna put on that page and you're gonna be like, what is your channel about? And I'll be like, it's about all these things. Hello and welcome. I am a young adult writer and I wanted to start a channel with some writing advice. The reason I wanted to do this is one, I wanted to get better at my filming skills and honestly my public speaking skills. I am an introvert. I once took the big five test and this version of it, they went ahead and said like you're this percentile and if you were in a room with a hundred people you would be more conscientious than 76 people in the room, whatever. So I took that and uh, they said you are more introverted than everyone else in the room. And I was like, wow, that's great. Good job, me. Uh, so that's one reason why. So thanks for being part of my public speaking journey. Another thing uh, is that as an author, you really become a public figure. And so I wanted to, you know, before I'm, I'm not published yet, guys. Like, I uh, don't have anything out in the world. But I'm writing and I feel really good about my books and I know that I'm a persistent person so I feel like I'm going to get published one day and just in order to prepare for that uh, sort of control my public image I wanted to go ahead and have a presence before I got a book deal or anything like that and just be a person and not let media tell people what I am. And to practice putting my face out there. Look at this pretty face. Also, I wanted to practice my video editing skills. Unfortunately, I have a super slow computer and I'm using DaVinci. So if the editing on these videos is, is not great, just know that I'm working with like Stone Age computer software. It buffers, my internet is awful. That doesn't really have to do, but the, the upload times on YouTube is gonna be slow. And when I'm editing the videos, a lot of times the sound waves don't want to load. Uh, if you can imagine, it's very hard to edit videos if you don't have sound waves, because uh, you can't tell when sentences end and so on. So I'm just doing the best I can over here, but I just wanted to jump in and go ahead and start a channel. All right, so a little bit about me. I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota in the United States. If you ever noticed my lovely Minnesotan accent, that's why, it's because I'm literally in Minnesota. I grew up a little bit on, up north too, so there's that. And uh, you can go ahead and make fun of me in the comments, but uh, maybe don't because it's rude. And you can really hear it, like every time I say Minnesota, the O, it really just whoop, goes down. I also say flag instead of flag. Flag sounds gross to me. It just does. I also say milk instead of milk. So now you know all the ways you can make fun of me. And it's funny, I went to a college here in Minnesota and there are a lot of out-of-state students. And so like on my first Prosby visit or whatever, someone came up to me and was like, you have a Minnesota accent. Like, Bitch, I'm here in Minnesota, what do you expect? I have a degree in English and I'm working at a small publishing house here in Minneapolis. They do exist. Minneapolis has a really thriving literary community. It's actually pretty amazing. It's one of the best outside of New York. Some other hot spots I think are like Portland, Oregon and uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles. Maybe a little bit in Denver, Colorado as well. But really we have one of the strongest publishing communities outside of New York and it's really fun to be a part of and it's really fun to work in publishing and not have to pay a fortune for rent. So I am super lucky. What I do is I'm a production assistant. So I help with the actual printing of books, which is great. I order reprints. I do some general assistant stuff for production coordinators. I proofread and edit indexes. I sometimes get proofreading projects. I send covers to authors, which is so exciting. I do have a few original projects every, every year too. And I just have a blast. I'm probably going to do a video just about my job and what it's taught me about the publishing industry in general, but that's not this video. I just wanted to give you a sense for who I am. So when I'm not at work and I'm not writing, I do have a few hobbies. The thing with me is I have a bunch of throwaway hobbies 
that are just sort of there when I hate writing and can't do it anymore. <laughs> so these are hobbies that I do not take seriously. I have a sock I've been working on for about two years and it's still like just the freaking cuff. But I just pick it up when I am so sick of writing and can't deal with it and have nothing else. I just want something to do with my hands. I pick up that sock again and there I go knitting it. So that's how seriously I take knitting. I also have an adult coloring book I work on. I have a plant. I like yoga but never do it. Oh, tarot is probably my biggest one right now. I have a few decks. I'm super interested in it. I'm not, I don't know, I think people have some misconceptions about tarot and what it means about your religious background. I'm not a Wiccan, I'm not a witch. I just enjoy tarot. I find it really fun. And for me, and it, this isn't the same for every tarot reader, but for me, it sort of taps into intuition and the id and the parts of your brain, your unconscious, that you don't always interact with. And when you see a spread of these random cards, and someone gives you a reading and tells you about it, things start sparking in your mind. And to me, it isn't, there's nothing magical about it. It's just gets your brain thinking and processing about your life. Also, the visual imagery is so great and the way it distills life into these archetypes. And it's very much related to story. So that's why I'm into tarot and I absolutely love tarot. This doesn't really count as a hobby, but when I have free time, I do watch Netflix like anybody else, but more of the time I'm actually watching anime. So I have a VRV account and watch anime with bated breath. Like I wait for each episode to come out every week and I just really enjoy anime. Anime is really great if you are in the science fiction genre, the fantasy genre, or romance. There's some kick-ass romance in anime, like some of the most complex interesting, lovely stories you can imagine. So if you're a romance writer, please watch some romance anime. It is so good. There's just so much to learn, to love, to get into. Some of the best vampire shows. Japan has a different spin on a lot of Western ideas, and I think it just gets my brain, my juices flowing, and I think about things in a different way, and it's just, wonderful and lovely and the thing is i'm like inundated with western culture constantly and to me having a media source that i go ahead and turn to almost like all of my free time if i'm going to be watching something it's usually going to be anime it really is so refreshing and you know i think it could be like if you lived in japan and wanted to watch western shows like that would be really refreshing too i honestly would just recommend finding a media that's made it in a, in a different country or in a different culture than your own to go ahead and just learn and get new story ideas. People say to read widely, which is super true, but it can also be the same for other forms of media. So if you want to relax and watch some anime, like 100% recommend. That's a little bit about me and who I am. So for this channel, I'm hoping to mostly talk about the writing process, being a aspiring writer. Um, the thing is, if you're writing, you're a writer, and there's no aspiring about it. I am an aspiring <laughs> published author. You could say that. I just want to be there for other people who are in the trenches. And I've been writing since seven years I've been writing, which is weird to think about. <laughs> I've, in this whole time, I've been working on my own projects. I have been researching publishing as a general field. Uh, for two of the years, I've had a job in publishing and I don't live in New York. I just think all these things combined would make an interesting channel. Also, leave in the comments below what you would like out of this channel. I'm very open to your thoughts and anything you would find interesting. If you have any questions for me and my background, I'd love to address them. Um, and just like, what are some topics that you feel like haven't been covered on booktube enough? Any weird little specific topics you want to talk about, I am here for it, so. All right, thanks guys. If you wanna hear more, please like, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.